All right, so let's talk about the properties illustrated here. So in the first one, when you look at this, it can be one of two things. You can either think of it as the product of two factors okay, it, on the left side, but on the right side, those are just two terms. So it doesn't fit any of the properties. So instead, if you have a single term factor times a, a multi-term, or in this case, a binomial factor that expands into uh, just that binomial, that is an example of distributive property. So all we did is we took this negative one half, distributed it to each of the terms in our binomial. All right, the second example. Here again, you can think of it in a couple different ways. You can either think of it as two groups being added. So one group is the binomial or the monomial 2x, the single term, and then the second group is a binomial. Okay, is that the same as over here? Do you have the same terms x or 2x and then the binomial over here? Yeah. So you have these two things. The other way that you could possibly think of this is three individual terms being combined. Okay? But when you look over here, those three terms don't stay in the same order. And okay? so it can't be the associative. There's an, a change of order. Okay? Anytime you're dealing with a change of order, it, ex, it illustrates which property? Commutative. Okay? And then you just decide what operations being performed here so it's a commutative property of addition. Okay, C, again here you have these three individual factors being multiplied, A, B, and C. You have the same three factors over here, but there's a change in the order. Okay, they don't stay in the same order. So what what illustrate or what is illustrated when the order changes? Again, commutative. But this time the property it's multiplying. So it's commutative property of multiplication. All right, the final example here. You have these, again, either two groups, either a, a single term and a double term. Here it's a single term and a double term, but are the single terms the same? We have a 2x here, but a 3z here. So that changes. So these aren't individual, uh, two individual terms that are switching orders. So look to see, is it three separate terms being combined? Does the order of the, the terms change at all? 2x, then 2 thirds y, and then 3z. 2x, 2 thirds y, and then 3z. So here the order doesn't change. All that changes is the grouping of them. And so that's illustrate, that illustrates which property? That's the example of the associative. And the operation that's being performed between all of these, you're regrouping across an addition or sum. Okay, so you get the associative property of addition for that.